Hey guys, it's Dave. My, uh, my hair's kind of a mess here because I just got out of the water. Uh, as many of you know, uh, I love to surf. That's my new thing. Um, that's something I really enjoy. And it's also a place where I get to think a lot. Uh, and I come up with a lot of blog posts and stuff like that while I'm out in the water. And the one I came up with today was really to talk about fear. Uh, fear is such a powerful emotion. And what often happens for us is that we take uh, fear from previous uh, experiences and apply it to current circumstances where it really isn't warranted. So let me give you an example of that um, for how that worked for me today. On Tuesday night, um, I decided that I was going to go out uh, in the evening at our team call and uh, usually at sunset, at least a lot of times sunset, wind will calm down and uh, if there's a nice little swell and high tide and the conditions are right, there's good surf at sunset and it's fun to go out. And uh, you know, you get about a half an hour at twilight and it's just, it's perfect. And uh, so I went out on Tuesday night expecting that because uh, it was like that on Monday and it was actually like that last night. Um, but on Tuesday it wasn't like that. On Tuesday the opposite happened. The wind picked up uh, and it started to blow me down the beach, which for us means um, getting blown into the Navy SEALs training facility, which they don't like very much. Um, and Sorry, there's a lot of background noise too. That's the Navy. Um, and uh, it got huge. Swell picked up, uh, it was closed out, which means there's very little to ride other than pretty heavy duty white water. It's not a lot of fun, and I'm on a stand up board, so wind, chop, big waves, not what you're looking for. And it was properly scary. I mean, it, it freaked me out. Uh, you know, and I just, it was all I could do to just get back on the shore um, and, uh, and be okay. And so today, today's Thursday morning, and today I decided I'm gonna go surfing. And I took that same fear that I had on Tuesday into the water today. And as you can see, it's chilled out a little bit. Um, the wind has definitely chilled out since I came back in. But it's not, you know, what I would consider to be life-threatening by any means. It's certainly not anywhere near as big as it was. I mean, it's maybe shoulder high. Um, so it wasn't even nearly as big as it was. It was overhead on Tuesday. But I went out there and I, what I noticed is that I had the same fear. And you know, my rule generally is if you think you're going to get hurt, <clears throat> you're going to get hurt. And so for me, that's time to pack it in and time to get out of the water. And so as I was coming out of the water, I started to really think, you know, what was that all about? What was going on there? Why was I so freaked out? Um, and I realized it's just fear and the power that fear has over us and the ability to take something that actually was a legitimately scary situation um, and, you know, where definitely it was time to pack it in on Tuesday and take that same emotion and that same experience and apply it to a set of circumstances that just weren't that scary. I mean, there was no reason to be freaked out today. Um, it wasn't good. I mean, I'm not going to tell you that it was great waves and I just blew it. Um, but there really wasn't any reason to be, to have that fear, you know? And so I guess my advice is to, uh, to notice that, you know, that's really all you can do with something like fear is to notice the emotion and you know, think about it. Are you applying fear from previous experience or any emotion from a previous experience to a current set of circumstances where it doesn't belong? Um, that happens a lot, and uh, it happened to me today. So, you know, here's a powerful emotion. Tomorrow's another day, and uh, I'll be back in the ocean then. All right, guys, take it easy.